Hey everyone, I'm Shane and welcome back to Got Go Orlando. In today's video, we're heading over to Epcot as the 2024 menu slash foodie guide has dropped for the International Flower and Garden Festival. And I don't know about you, but I am ready to get my flower, garden and foodie on. The Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival will start February the 28th through to May the 27th, 2024. Epcot will be transformed into a flower-filled bursting park with bright colours, amazing scents and delicious flavours. This year there are nearly 20 outdoor kitchens and over 60, yes you heard right, new items to indulge in. That's a lot of new flavours buzzing around. Within all these new menu items, be sure to try delights for the first time like the Cubanito at Florida Fresh and the Peach Giletta at Epcot's Farmer's Feast. But don't worry, there are plenty of returning favourites including none other than the beloved frozen dessert, Violet Lemonade at Pineapple Promenade and the Chicken and Waffles at the Honey Bistro hosted by the National Honey Board. Once the festival kicks off, be sure to pick up your festival passport and join in the tasty foodie fun with the return of the Garden Greys. To join in on the foodie stroll, which features eight tasty bites from the outdoor kitchens, simply get a stamp on your passport after you purchase an item and once you collect five, you can receive an exclusive treat from the Pineapple Promenade. So just before we start this foodie guide, please consider smashing subscribe, like and share if you find this video helpful. So let's dive right into Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. So our first location on this foodie guide is the Honey Bee Bistro, hosted by the National Honey Board. The first item is chicken and waffles. This is crispy chicken on a honey sweet cornbread waffle with whipped honey butter and spicy honey. Then the next item is brand new to the menu and it's the honey glazed corn flour with honey roasted carrot puree, wild rice, spring vegetables, honey blistered grapes and sunflower brittle. The first item is a honey peach cobbler freeze with strozel, non-alcoholic beverage. Then we have the Copper Point Brewing Co. Bee Squeeze Blonde Ale, which is new to the menu. Then the next item is a Florida Orange Grove Winery, Orange Blossom Honey Wine. And then to finish off, you have the Honey Peach Cobbler Freeze with Blueberry Vodka and Struzel. Our next location is the Pineapple Promenade. And the first foodie item here is the Spicy Hot Dog with Pineapple Chutney and Plantain Chips. Then the next item is a dough whip, which is plant-based. Then moving on to the beverages at this location, and we start off with the frozen dessert, Violet Lemonade, which is non-alcoholic. Moving on, we have the dough whip with Fanta, which is also non-alcoholic. Then after that, we have the Three Daughters Brewing Tropical Heffy. And then after that, we have the Copper Point Brewing Co. Tropical Hibiscus Blonde Ale, which is new to the menu. Then there's a Wicked Weed Brewing Perny Haze Hazy IPA, which is new to the menu. Following that, you have the Player Linda Brewing Company Violet Lemonade Ale. After that, you've got the Florida Orange Groves Winery Sparkly Pineapple Wine. The next item is a dough whip topped with summerous mango cream liqueur. And finally, you have the Pineapple Beer Flight. Our next location is Florida Fresh. And the foodie items you're gonna be able to get here is the grilled warm water lobster tail with key lime butter, and it's new to the menu. The next item is Cubanito with a mojo marinated belly pork, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, and stone ground mustard sauce, and it's new to the menu. And the final item here is the Florida Strawberry Shortcake. It's plant-based and is on the Garden Grays food stroll. Then moving on to the beverages, we have two items which are the cucumber watermelon slushy, which is non-alcoholic and then we have an alcoholic version which incorporates gin. Next location is Swirled Showcase which I'm sure is Emma's favourite and the food items you're going to get here is a soft serve in a waffle cone. Now this is available in three different flavours, vanilla, peanut butter and grape jelly. 
The next item available at this location is the strawberry basil sorbet in a waffle cone and it's new to the menu. Then the next item at this location is an ice cream float. This is a vanilla soft served in bark red cream soda and it's non-alcoholic. The last item on the menu here is the liquid nitro honey mascarpone cheesecake with fresh honey, granulated honey, honey mead blueberry compote and it's presented by the National Honey Board and it's new to the menu. Then we're moving on to the beverages and the first beverage on the menu here is a vanilla soft served with cantaloupe liqueur and it's new to the menu followed up with a Boulevard Brewing Co. Quirk Strawberry Banana Whipped Hard Seltzer. Then the final item on the menu here is a Strawberry Brazil Sorbet with Hard Seltzer. Now we're changing location once again and we're heading over to the refreshment port. The food item you're going to find here, and there is only one, is the plant-based Buffalo Chicken Tender 14 with crispy potato barrels with ranch and plant-based blue cheese crumbles. This is plant-based and is on the Garden Grace food stroll. Then moving on to the beverages at this location. The first item is a Country Boy Brewing Orange Cream Hard Cider and it's brand new to the menu. Follow that up with a Vanilla Maria Earth Golden Savion Blanc. Then the final item on the menu is a frozen mojito with Boyd and Blair rum. Now we're moving on to our next location, which is the Northern Bloom. And the first item at this location is the beef tenderloin tips with mushroom bordelais sauce, whipped potatoes and garden vegetables. Then for the dessert you're going to have a chocolate maple whiskey cake. Now we're going to move on to the beverages. At this location there are five different drinks to try. The first being a Florida Orange Grove sparkling blackberry wine and it's new to the menu. Then we have the Collective Art Brewing Beyond Reason Micro Pale Ale and this is new to the menu and a mouthful. Then we have the Gluttenberg Blonde Ale. The next item on the menu is the Collective Art Brewing Grapefruit Lime Sour and this is new to the menu. And then the final item is a Beer Flight which is a lot more simpler to say than the rest. The next location is La Isla Fresca and the first item on the menu here is the impossible Jamaican beef patty with spicy papaya syrup. It's new to the menu and is plant based. Then we're moving on to the coconut tress leches. This is a vanilla cake soaked in oat, almond and coconut milk topped with toasted coconut. It's plant based and is a part of the Garden Grace food stroll. Then we're moving on to the beverages and the first drink on the menu here is the Tropical Slush. This is made up with lemonade, grapefruit, a simple syrup and is non-alcoholic. The next item is a bit of a tongue twister. It's the Wicked Weed Brewing Mango Wowie Hazy IPA with mango and it's new to the menu. Then the next item is the Florida Orange Groves Winery Tropical Participation White Sangria. Then the final item at this location is the Tropical Breeze with Don Q Lemon Rum. Then the next location we're heading to is the Tangerine Calf for Flavours of Medina. Then the first foodie item you're going to find at this location is the Mediterranean Flatbread with Chamola Roasted Vegetables, Artichokes, Olives and Feta Cheese. Then the last foodie item at this location is the Orange Blossom Saffron Cake. Then we're moving on to the beverages and the first item you're going to find is the pomegranate mimosa followed by some tongue twisters. The first one being the Keel Farm Pear Honeysuckle Hard Cider which is new to the menu. Then we have the Woodchuck Imperial Sipping Citrus Hard Cider which is new to the menu. Then there's the Three Daughters Brewing Pomegranate Hard Cider and then finally the Cider Flight. The next location is Magnolia Terrace and the first food item is a bit of a tongue twister so I do apologise if I get it wrong but it's the muffaletta panini with ham, salami, mortadella, palavona and swiss with olive salad. I hope I got it right. Then the next item on the menu here is a spicy chicken gumbo with andouille sausage and long grain and wild rice. Then for dessert you have the banana foster bread pudding. Now we're moving on to the beverages and the first item is the Bayou cocktail. Spiced rum, coconut rum, fruit punch and orange juice. 
Then we have the Urban Artifact Cappy Snacks Fruit Punch with Fruit Ale and this is new to the menu. Then we have the Snyder Visor Love Beer, Visor Beer and this is new to the menu. Then we have the Parish Brewing Co Ghost in the Machine Double IPA and then to finish off we have the Beer Flight. Next we're heading over to the Bauermarkt Farmer's Market and the first item on the menu here is the potato pancakes with house made apple sauce and it's plant based and on the garden graze food stroll. The next item on the menu is the toasted pretzel bread topped with black forest ham and melted cheese and then the final nibble here is the warm cheese strudel with berry compote. Then we're moving on to the beverages at this location and the first one is the Bitter Burger Premium Pills. Then we have the Stiegel Brewing Raspberry Riddler. Then we have a Wahen Stefana Beer. Then the next item I don't even think I'll even attempt to pronounce but it is an apple sparkling wine with apple liqueur. Then the final item is a beer flight. Up next we're heading over to the refreshment outpost and the first foodie item you're going to find there is the seasonal fruit parfait with sweet chilli sauce and dough whip. Mango and it's new to the menu, it's plant based and it's on the garden grace food stroll. Then the final item on the menu here is the ice cream float. It's tangerine soft serve in Barak's red cream soda. I'm gonna move on to the beverages. And the first drink you're gonna find here is the lavender martini. It's Boyd and Blair potato vodka with lavender and lemon. Then the next item is the Crooked Can Brewing Saw Presser Pinkanta Pale Ale Winter Garden and it's new to the menu. Then we have the Woodchuck 1802 Barrel Aged Hard Cider which is also new to the menu. And then finally you have the Sweetwater Brewing Co Fruit Punch IPA and this is new to the menu as well. The next stop we're going to head over to the Trowel and Trellis. The first item you're going to find is the Impossible Farmhouse Meatball with Lentil Bread, Spinach, Marinated Vegetables and Creamy Herb Alloy. It's a plant-based item and is a garden graze food stroll item. Then we're moving on to soy glaze sticky ribs with green onions and peanuts. Then the dessert item is a chocolate mousse terrarium with matcha crumble and chocolate soil and it's new to the menu. The first beverage at this location is a raspberry and lemon herbal tea. Twinings, raspberry and lemon herbal tea and simply limeade. It's a non-alcoholic beverage and is new to the menu. Then we have the raspberry lemon herbal tea with gin. This is Twinings raspberry and lemon herbal tea and conniption kinship gin and it's new to the menu. Then we have the Surreal Brewing Co. Natural Bridges Kolsch style non-alcoholic beer and it's new to the menu. And then the final item on the menu is the Brew Hub Strawberry Heatwave Belina and it's new to the menu. Now we're over at the Citrus Blossom and the first item on the menu is the Orange Sesame Tempura Shrimp with Orange Chili Sauce. Then for dessert we have the Lemon Meringue Pie, Lemon Curd, Lemon Mousse and Toasted Meringue. Now moving on to the beverages and the first drink we have is the orange lemon smoothie with a souvenir orange bird sippy cup and it's non-alcoholic. And then the next item is the Southern Tier Brewing Company Orange Twist Imperial Ale and it's new to the menu. Up next is the Left Hand Brewing Lemon Drop Shandy and this is also new to the menu. Then we have the Stone Brewing Tangerine Express Hazy IPA which is new to the menu. Then after that we have the Key Lime Wine Slush which is new to the menu and then the final item at this location is the Beer Flight. The next location on our list is is the brunch cot. The first item on the menu here is avocado toast with marinated tomatoes and plant-based cheese crumbles on toasted ciabatta. It's plant-based and is a part of the Garden Grace food stroll. And the next item is biscuit and gravy with impossible chicken, fried steak and impossible sausage gravy and this is new to the menu. Then for dessert you've got the fried cinnamon roll bites with cream cheese frosting and candied bacon. Mm. Then moving on to the beverages at this location, the first item is the Fruit Loop Shake and it's non-alcoholic. Then you have the Peach Bellini 
Then the final item on the menu here is the coffee cocktail. It's Joffrey's coffee, milk, vanilla, vodka, rum and coffee liqueur. Up next is Epcot's Farmer's Feast. Now these items are early bloom menu items and available from 28th of February through to March the 30th. The first item on the menu here is a veal tenderloin with spring pea risotto featuring Ben's original international grain, arboreal rice and red wine syrup and it's new to the menu. Then for dessert at this location we have the strawberry rhubarb upside down cake with whipped cream. Up next is the springtime menu available from March 31st through to April 27th. And the first item on the menu here is the seared scallop with tomato risotto featuring Ben's original international grain Iberio rice and tomato pure blanc and it's new to the menu. Then for dessert you have the blueberry buckle with lemon cream and this is also new to the menu. Up next is summer solstice. The items here are available from April the 28th through to May the 27th. The first item on the menu here is seared pork tenderloin with corn risotto featuring Ben's original international grain arborio rice and roasted red pepper sauce and it's new to the menu. Then for dessert we have the peach gelete with ginger vanilla whipped cream and this is also new to the menu. The next food item is available throughout the entire festival and it's the grilled street corn on the cob with savoury garlic spread and plant-based cheese. Yes it's a plant-based item and is available on the Garden Grays food stroll. Then we're going to move on to the beverages which are available also through the entire festival. And the first drink at this location is a bit of a tongue twister so do bear with me. It's the Hibiscus Lemonade Cocktail featuring Isla Brewing Distillery Hibiscus Gin. Whew. Then the next item is a frozen lemon tea cocktail with Berenjaga Honey and Bourbon. The next location is the Land Cart hosted by Advent Health. And the food items here are the roasted red pepper hummus with cucumber, olives and a multi-grain cracker and it's new to the menu. Then the next item is acai parfait with a Greek yoghurt, fresh berries and granola and it's new. Then the beverage for this area is a Florida smoothie, pineapple, orange and mango and it's also new to the menu. Next we're heading over to the Connections Eatery and the first item on the menu here is a hot honey chicken sandwich. Southern fried chicken sandwich with hot honey and pickles. Then for dessert we have the Orange Bird League waffle. Then the beverage for this location is the Blood Orange Hibiscus Margarita which is a blend of tequila, hibiscus blood orange syrup and orange juice and it's brand new to the menu. Now we're going to head over to the Canada Popcorn Cart. Now there's only one item available at this location and it's the Peach Smash. The Peach Smash is a blend of Canadian Club whiskey with lemon, peach puree and ginger and it's brand new to the menu. Now we're heading over to the United Kingdom beer cart and there's only one drink available here and that's the Scottish Thistle. The Scottish Thistle is a blend of forged gin with lemon and blackcurrant cucumber syrup garnished with a cucumber and it's new to the menu. The next location is Jada di Fiesta and the first item on the menu is the Sopa de Chirorio. Guajillo pepper braised pork on fried corn shells with black beans, shredded cabbage, cream mexicana, queso, fresco and chives and it's new to the menu. Poblano peppers, corn and cheese in a masa topped with poblano cream sauce. Crema Mexican pickles, carrots and onions with chives and it's brand new to the menu. The next item on the menu is a guava flan. This is a vanilla flan with guava coulis, whipped cream and fresh fruit and it's brand new to the menu. Now we're going to move on to the beverages and the first drink on the menu is a leche margarita, centralina blanco tequila, leche liqueur, citrus juice and agave nectar and it's new to the menu. Then the next one is the floral margarita, cherry liqueur, mezcal, 
hibiscus tea and lime juice and it's new to the menu and then the final item is the craft mexican draft beer our next stop's journey is the lotus house and the first item on the menu here is a spicy mala chicken skewer with creamy peanut sauce then we have the house made cheesy crab wontons and then the final foodie item is the pan fried vegetable dumplings now we're going to move on to the beverages the first drink is a mango bubble tea and it's non-alcoholic then we have the brew hub honey jasmine lager draft beer the next item is a dragon dynasty with by hugh spirit light rum dragon fruit syrup pina colada mix and soda water and it's brand new to the menu the next beverage is a lucky peach peach whiskey a long tea honey lemon juice and soda water and it's new to the menu and then the final beverage on the list is the tropical moon this is made up with vodka triple sec passion fruit syrup soda water and white boba pearls the next location we're heading to is the primavera kitchen and the food items are as follows broco chin mozzarella broca chin grape tomatoes and pesto sauce and it's new to the menu the next item is arrabbiata pinette pasta spicy tomato sauce and buttery shrimp and it's new to the menu the next item on the menu is the quattro formace pinette pasta and four cheese sauce and it's new to the menu now we're going to move on to the dessert chocolate cannelloni chocolate covered cannelloni shell with peanut butter ricotta filling and it's new to the menu now we're going to move on to the beverages and the first drink on the menu is the peroni pilsner then we have the savion blanc then the next drink is prosecco the next option is the italian sangria which is available in red or white then the final beverage here is the italian margarita with lemoncello and tequila the next location is hanami and the first food item you're going to find here is the frushi strawberry pineapple and leche wrapped in coconut rice and pink soy wrapped served in whipped cream drizzled in raspberry sauce and toasted coconut the next item is a steam bun filled with vegetables and plant-based soy meat and it's new to the menu then the final item is a ramen cup it's a ramen salad shaken in a cup with fresh vegetables grilled chicken and dashi broth with chili oil and waizu and it's new to the menu now we're going to move on to the beverages the first beverage is a water lemon strawberry lemonade and it's new to the menu then we have the orange blossom brewing co cherry blossom green tea pilsner and that's new to the menu then we have the ishigu breeze cocktail sake with strawberry and watermelon and it's new to the menu and then the final beverage is ozeki pineapple nigori sake and it's new to the menu the next location is flood delice and the first item is croissant de fromage which is a croissant with goat's cheese herbs and roasted garlic the next item is a bit of a tongue twister it's the pamatier de canard al orange which is pulled duck confit with orange sauce and garlic rosemary mashed potatoes and it's new to the menu which is pulled duck confit with orange sauce and garlic rosemary mashed potatoes and it's new to the menu the next item i don't even think i'm gonna try to say what the name is but it is basically a warm cake filled with lemon lavender and thyme infused cream served with berry compote and it's brand new to the menu then the final foodie item are beignettes beignettes filled with vanilla cream and glazed with caramel fleur de sel then we're moving on to the beverages and we have the Cronenberg Blanc 1664 which is a fruity white beer with citrus notes up next is the sparkling raspberry cocktail sparkling wine with raspberry flavor then the next drink is a Savoir Blanc from the Laurel Valley then the final drink is a frozen slush it's made up with vodka grey goose L orange Sint German liqueur white and red cranberry juices the next item is sure to be a favorite and it's the funnel cake 
funnel cake with powdered sugar, vanilla ice cream, strawberry whipped cream, strawberry glaze and strawberry crunch and it's brand new to the menu. Then finally we have Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company in several locations, the first being World Discovery near Mission Space. And the item available here is the Iced Honey Jasmine Latte, a floral fusion of espresso, honey jasmine syrup, milk, whipped cream and graham cracker crumbles. It's new to the menu. There is an alcoholic version available with Bailey's Irish Cream Liqueur. Then up by near Canada, you have the Citrus Frosted Iced Tea, a tangy blend of frozen lemonade, Minute Maid lemonade, iced tea and orange tangerine syrup garnished with a glazed orange peel. It's new to the menu and there is an alcoholic version with Grey Goose Vodka. Over at Showcase Plaza near Disney Traders, you'll be able to get your hands on the Ice Berry Chai Latte. A very sweet blend of chai tea, blueberry syrup and milk topped with whipped cream and cinnamon. It's new to the menu and you guessed it, there is an alcoholic version available with Bailey's Irish Cream Liqueur. Then the next location is the American Adventure where you can get your hands on the Tropical Frosted Iced Tea. An exotic blend of frozen lemon, Minute Maid lemonade, iced tea and Hawaiian Island syrup garnished with a glazed orange peel and yes it's new to the menu and you can get an alcoholic version with grey goose vodka well that's the 2024 international flower and garden festival foodie guide so what do you think are you heading this year to the festival and what are you looking forward to and which food items are you going to try comment down below Thank you all so much for joining me here today and please don't forget to smash subscribe, like and share with all your friends and family. Also check out our website which covers all that's happening here and where in Orlando, Florida. GottaGoOrlando.com Now get out there and go and make some memories and all I can really say now is TikTok, gotta go, gotta go Orlando guys. And don't forget about these two videos right here.